Hi, and welcome to Ambraco Tutorials. Today we are going to use Ambraco version 10. As you remember in the previous videos, we worked with Ambraco uh, version 8. And we saw how, how it was nice and how it was easy to implement websites using Ambraco. Today, version uh, 10 is released. I think it's version 10.2.1, uh, which is the latest release. So in this series of videos, we are going to uh, learn how to set up Ambraco 10. Uh, also, we'll try to work on uh, how we, we can create small site. I think I was thinking to create small blog. I have a small plan for it. Let's see that plan together. So the agenda is to, in this video, which will be, in, I don't know the number of the videos, but each uh, section of this one could be one video or, or more. And I will try to not make that video more than 15 minutes. Uh, and try always not talk too much. Work more than talking. That will be the title of the video. <laughs> so in this video, will be a bit talk, to be honest with you. So uh, we'll do the introduction, or we'll talk about a, a bit about Ambraco, just for the new people, if they don't know Ambraco, and how we can install Ambraco 10. After we install it, we'll try to show you again the starter kit, how is it, how they look in version 10. We'll talk about the architecture and the pattern, and maybe we'll talk about the model builder, or can be pushed to the other, uh, to the next videos. So as I said, we can uh, build a small blog. Uh, I found a small, simple one with the bootstrap. You know, uh, we can use that one. It's simple and tidy one. So in each section of this one, we see how we can build the homepage, or how we are building that blogs inside uh, uh, and the post and all that other stuff. So we can also build the author's uh, pages. We can get more uh, de details about the author's content page. How also, we give small introduction about the macros. I'm thinking to build a search page using Ambraco and how we can integrate it with Ambraco, uh, sorry, with the, with the Google search uh, contact us page. Contact us page will be two type of contact us page. No, not two type, I will say uh, two, uh, two type of forums. So you can use Ambraco forum. Or we can build our own our own uh, forum with the Ambraco controller or uh, MVC controller. We'll try to use the recapture tool there, just to get more knowledge about this stuff. Also, we'll build the nav bar. Uh, we'll see how we add we add the, the logo and search box in the top too. Uh, footer links, metadata, and the uh, error page. We can implement it. And Ambraco MFA. All this stuff are, they are simple. I have this the red one here, uh, Ambraco APIs. Uh, still, that I'm planning for it to be honest with you. Uh, just I'm thinking if I build the uh, API, what I'm going to use in the front end. It will be mobile or React or something like that. So still no no plan uh, for that, but that will be in the future after finish everything here. Uh, so now let me just talk a bit about Ambraco. I will not say that much, so I will just pull the uh, main site. And you can see what we have, they have there. So let, if you compare between Ambraco version 8 or 7 or the previous version with Ambraco 10 and after, sorry, uh, 9 and after. So the previous version they used to build on .NET uh, framework. And the new, uh, the newest version, 9 and 10, they built them in Ambraco, sorry, in .NET uh, 6, 5 and 6, 12. So what mean that for us as a developer or the, as a .NET uh, uh, developers? So when I, they said they moved to a .NET 6, that means my uh, my site or my blog I will create, it will run on more than, uh, let's say, more than one type of the servers. Before, we are restricted. We are only use uh, Windows servers because .NET uh, framework only work on, uh, on Windows servers. But currently with .NET 6, I can run it on Linux, I can run it on Mac, I can run my... my uh, uh, my app anywhere I want. Anything's work with .NET 6. I think that that's one one of the best features, to be honest with you. Uh, also, Ambraco, they, they have nice team. Always they give us, if there is any issue, anything, they always they push new uh, changes, security uh, patches, or anything. Uh, so um, you can visit the, the site and check there uh, how, uh, as, as much as you can. Uh, they have Ambraco Cloud. I think they, you can check all that stuff. So, but uh, let me just before we go to the how you install it, let me just talk about uh, why Ambraco 10 and not Ambraco 9. 
So as you remember, I did videos about Ambraco uh, 8 and escaped Ambraco 9. To be honest with you, I check about, about Ambraco 9, but uh, it was working with .NET 5. And uh, the plan they put straight away, they said in uh, H122, they will start Ambraco, Ambraco 10. So Ambraco 9, it's similar if you think about it about .NET. So why I didn't use Ambraco, uh, sorry, .NET Core 5, I use all, straight away Ambraco .NET 6. And I'm leaving 7, I will go use 8. So similar here, I don't want to use something for short uh, term use. So when they said the TLS will, for Ambraco 9 will be in 22, that means it's very short. But Ambraco 10 will be till 25. So that's what makes me skip Ambraco 9. I didn't skip it as a knowledge. I learned from it. I checked it. I saw it nice. But I said, no, I will jump to Ambraco 10 straight away. And if you are working with Ambraco 9, it's easy to upgrade to Ambraco uh, 10. That's briefly here. Uh, so how I can install Ambraco uh, 10? Ambraco 10, as you know, it's or Ambraco, from Ambraco 9, it's different way how to install it. Rather, uh, before in 7, you will just create a project, empty project in, in Visual Studio. And install it using the nugget but here they make it for us easier they create something called visual studio template or dotnet template so they give you many options how you can use it with the visual code or you can use it with the uh, is or any any type so i will use to be honest with you i will um, um i will use the visual studio it's much easier for us you can use visual code if you like to it's simpler simpler and same they give you all the instruction how to create that project so how I can I get that template in my Visual Studio? Just copy this line and go to your uh, CMD. Uh, just pass this line in the CMD and enter. A few seconds, they will install for you uh, the latest template from Ambraco. Which will, it is uh, 10 to 1. That's the latest one. So where is that template? That template, I can use it. If I want to use visual uh, code, I can just write .NET uh, new Ambraco. I get my project name and that's it. But if in our case we'll use Visual Studio, so what we'll do here we'll go to Visual Studio. In Visual Studio we just said new project, and you can get uh, that template. Just to mention more here, in uh, let me just create a project here. So the template we installed is uh, called Ambraco. Uh, So here we are, uh, the template we installed, we call it, uh, we have two templates we'll get. We'll get something called Ambraco package or we get something called Ambraco project. Uh, before I jump in this one, just let me mention something here very quick. So if you want to build script to create for you everything, uh, someone, uh, I think Paul, he creates something nice here if you click on it. So they said to you, I want to create the... Uh, Ambraco project plus include this uh, libraries for me. Uh, I think you can add you think you can add the the stuff you need. So they will get it for you just installing uh, installation script. So let's suppose I wanna add you think and I wanna add the starter kit which will work on it soon. So if I go to my script installation, so uh, in, uh, the script we need here. So just by copying this stuff and run it in your uh, uh, CMD, you'll get the uh, full project. And also you can change the which latest version, uh, sorry, which version you want. You want the stable one or the version you want, you can check it here. I think there are many things nice here, to be honest with you. It makes our life easier. Uh, yeah, that's that's very quickly about it. And let's jump here back again now to Visual Studio. So in Visual Studio, we'll check this one. We said we need Ambraco 10 uh, project. Next. So... Let's say uh, test uh, Ambraco. Uh, let's go put it somewhere here. Let's say in this one, let me get a project. Uh, Ambraco. Let me select this one. And I will say here next. So in the next page, here they are saying to us uh, the .NET Core version. We can change this one here. And they say to us which version we are going to use. There's the rest of the data here. You can leave them or you can uh, add them. If you if you know your connection string and everything, you can add them here. But I will leave them. I will show you how we can fill that automatically. Let's say now create. It will take a few seconds here. So here, here the project that has been created by Ambraco template. So as we can see, uh, with similar 
exactly to to dot matrix uh, template uh, plus the umbraco stuff i think if you enable the hidden stuff you will see uh, soon the umbraco project when we just deploy something here so what we have here as i said nothing nothing new it's only umbraco sorry it's dot uh, matrix template so how i can uh, how i can uh, see the front end or the other stuff currently we have nothing but just we need to run the project and install uh, or create the database after that we can see the front end currently as you see only we have umbraco cms uh, to uh, 10 to 1 that's what we need so let's run this one and we see what we can do here so by running this one they will ask us uh, to add the username and the password and the database database you can create it already you should be created already in your uh, sql server if you want to use sql server uh, in your machine So they are asking about the name. Let's add our name, and they said they need password. Let's say A B C one two three four five six seven eight nine. Lovely password. Uh, so uh, they are asking you about the provider or which database type you want to use. Let's change this one. We go to SQL Server. You can you can use any type of this. And my server is dot. And the Umbraco database I will create. Let's say um test DB. Let me just do this one. I will use the uh, integrated one, integrated authentication here. Just let's go create the database here. And let's say, come on. Uh, so, um, test DB. Oh, let's exist. Let's say uh, V1. So, the DB is already, already exists. And let's say here, V1. And install it will take a few seconds that's the amazing things to be honest with you with umbraco 10 it didn't take that long time with the installation but like this very quick i didn't finish my work and they have already done everything you can take the tour if you want <laughs> so here similar to umbraco 8 that if you see the the layout is not that much different uh, you have the media the settings the Packages you can see any if anything's installed. We have nothing installed, and we install together the startup. Uh, sorry, the starter kit. Uh, I will not talk too much. I think we talk about that stuff in uh, in the previous video on Umbraco uh, Eight. Uh, I will maybe I can explain more if some, if the, for the new people what's mean the document type and the media types or the member types. Uh, that that maybe during our work with the with the next uh, videos, we'll talk about that stuff. So here very quick, I don't need this video to be long to be honest with you. How we can install the, uh, I suppose if I want to install the starter kit as we mentioned. If you go to here, it should be called something the starter uh, kit. Can I find it? I don't know why the most trust page here. So here you can't install it from the back office similar to the Umbraco uh, 7. You have to Take this name from here, close your project, and go to the Nugget uh, Manager here. And you can see, oh, what the heck is this? Uh, it's here. So, and, oh, yeah. So, let's go here. Umbraco Starter, uh, the Starter Kit, and let's install it. The nice thing, just leave it. It will install everything for you, and they will take all the dependencies library. And after a few seconds, they will done installing. I think it's done or no? Let's see. They said ready. Let me close this one. And now, as you see, after you install the after installing Umbraco, we can see the data, the Umbraco folder here. It should be more views. And let's start it now and see what we have there. Here we are with. Uh, the starter uh, starter kit. So this starter kit, they install for you a template to see uh, how Umbraco work, and you can inspect it, and you can see how it's amazing and how it's easy to add or remove to do anything. You know, for you as a developer, and also as a content uh, manager, he can how how the content team they can add or remove or add anything. So the starter kit uh, we install together. If you go to packages again and you check here, so you have something that starter kit here is installed already. 
So let's start like it in, it's in install it for us everything we need in the document type and the create everything. It's as I said, the starter kit as a starter uh, template. You can inspect it. You can see how the stuff is working. And also here they have the template. I think uh, I will not talk much about it. But in the next video, uh, as we said, uh, we'll talk more. Maybe or oh, not more. We'll try to talk about uh, the model builders, and we pick that template from Bootstrap. And we try to create the other stuff. I think it will be more than one video here. So uh, see you in the next video. Ciao.